Muhammad Ali, an American professional boxer, is widely known for his famous quote, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, even by those who have never watched a boxing match. In the ring, Ali displayed incredible speed and agility, gracefully moving and changing directions, delivering powerful punches, and anticipating his opponent's moves. The video delves into Muhammad Ali's story, starting with his birth on January 17, 1942, in the small town of Louisville, Kentucky. Originally named Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr., he was named after his father, who in turn, was named after a white plantation owner and abolitionist. Ali's great-grandfather on his mother's side was an Irish immigrant who married a freed slave. Despite being proud of his heritage, Ali often felt that his mixed ancestry made him weaker. Ali's parents belonged to the African-American middle class, with his father working as a sign painter and his mother as a house cleaner for affluent white families. With their savings of $4,500, they purchased a one-story house in a respectable African-American neighborhood, which later became a museum. Ali's hometown also houses the Muhammad Ali Center, a significant tribute to the legendary athlete. Alive grew up amidst racial inequality, which strongly influenced his character. As a child, he questioned why black people were treated as second-class citizens and wondered if they would go to heaven since the angels depicted in images were always white. Ali's boxing journey began when he was 12 years old. After his bicycle was stolen, he expressed his intention to confront the thief, which led a police officer to suggest he first learn how to fight. As a result, Ali and his younger brother Rudolf, later known as Rahman Ali, started training at a local boxing gym. In 1964, he faced Sonny Liston in a fight for the undisputed heavyweight world championship. Ali began psychologically pressuring Liston from the start. In the fourth round, Clay began to experience acute pain in his eyes, but still continued the fight. And in the break between the sixth and seventh rounds, Liston refused to continue the fight, citing a shoulder injury. For the victory, Clay earned $630,000, and many years later his championship gloves were sold at auction for $836,500. After the victory, Cassius announced his acceptance of Islam and joining the Nation of Islam organization. Inspired by Malcolm X, he officially changed his name to Cassius X, and then to Muhammad Ali. At first, reporters ignored his new name, but it is as Muhammad Ali that he is now known all over the world. Over time, the boxer left the Nation of Islam and turned to traditional Sunni Islam, which he followed until the end of his life. In June, the boxer visited the USSR, where he traveled to Uzbekistan and held three exhibition fights in Moscow against legendary Soviet heavyweight boxers Evgeny Gorstkov, Igor Vysotsky, and Vladimir Tkachenko. Ali won all three matches, impressing the Soviet audience with his skill and charisma. Despite his loss to Spinks, a rematch was scheduled for September 15, 1978. This time, Ali was determined to reclaim his title. The fight took place in the Superdome in New Orleans, and Ali dominated the match, winning by unanimous decision and becoming the first boxer to win the heavyweight title three times. After winning back the title, Ali defended it against several opponents, including Leon Spinks in a rematch in 1979. Ali defeated Spinks by a unanimous decision and retired from boxing the following year. However, in 1980, Ali announced his comeback and fought Larry Holmes for the heavyweight title. The match proved to be a disastrous decision for Ali, as Holmes dominated the fight and eventually won by technical knockout in the 11th round. It was a painful defeat for Ali, and many felt that he should have retired earlier to preserve his legacy. Ali officially retired from boxing in 1981 with a professional record of 56 wins and 5 losses. He had a significant impact on the sport and left a lasting legacy as one of the greatest boxers of all time. Beyond his boxing career, Ali was known for his activism and outspokenness on social and political issues. He was a prominent figure in the civil rights movement and a vocal critic of racism and injustice. In his later years, Ali battled Parkinson's disease, a degenerative neurological condition that gradually affected his physical abilities. Despite his declining health, Ali remained an inspirational figure, using his platform to promote humanitarian causes and advocate for peace. He passed away on June 3, 2016, leaving behind a legacy that extended far beyond the boxing ring. Muhammad Ali's impact on sports, society, and the world will continue to be remembered and celebrated for generations to come.
Muhammad Ali's estimated fortune ranged from 50 to 80 million dollars. Upon his death, he left 12 million to his wife and 6 million to each of his nine children. In 2006, he sold the rights to his name and image for 50 million dollars while retaining a 20% stake, which earned him an annual income of 7 million dollars. Throughout his career, Ali collaborated with various brands including Adidas, Gillette, IBM, Apple, Pizza Hut, Pepsi, Louis Vuitton, Toyota, and Porsche. He also appeared in advertisements for Bird's Eye Burgers and Wheaties cereal, becoming the first boxer to have his image featured on a Breakfast for Champions box. In 2014, he participated in a video for a nonprofit organization discussing the importance of water for human health. Following Ali's passing, his estate filed a lawsuit for $30 million against the Fox TV channel for unauthorized use of archival footage of Ali in advertisements prior to the U.S. Super Bowl. In 2006, Ali and his wife relocated to Paradise Valley, Arizona, where he resided until his death. He also owned a summer house in Louisville, which had an approximate area of 865 square meters and was later sold by his widow for $1.75 million. During his second marriage, Ali lived in Chicago for a period of time, and in 1971, he moved with his family to Cherry Hill, New Jersey, where they resided in a Tuscan-style house. It is said that Ali would open the door to fans and sign autographs during his time there. In 1975, Ali purchased a farm in Berrien Springs, Michigan, for around $400,000. The property included several new buildings such as a main house with four bedrooms, a gymnasium with a boxing ring and exercise equipment, a massage room, and a spa. Additionally, there was a basketball court, an office center with a study, and two separate garages with climate control. After Ali's death, the property was sold to a Turkish foundation for $2.5 million, with plans to establish an educational camp and an Ali museum. During his third marriage to Veronica, Ali resided in Hancock Park in downtown Los Angeles. The mansion, designed in the Italian Renaissance style, covered an area of 1,350 square meters and featured seven bedrooms. The house was furnished with luxurious furniture, antique chairs, and original fireplaces. It is reported that one of the rooms housed Veronica's collection of exotic birds. Ali's car collection included vehicles such as a Cadillac Eldorado, a Lincoln, a 1970 Rolls-Royce Silver Convertible, an Alfa Romeo Spider Veloci II series, and a specially gifted gold-coated Mercedes Ponton 220 adorned with precious stones from a sheikh in the UAE in the early 80s. During the 1970s, Muhammad Ali was widely regarded as the most famous and popular person on earth, according to numerous sources. Even after his death, he continues to inspire millions of people and remains a symbol of hope and resilience. While the question of whether Muhammad Ali is the greatest boxer is subjective, his impact on the sport and his cultural significance cannot be denied.